Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Anna Morfides with Mending Hearts Counseling. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the exciting topic of how to find your dream man. And this is actually inspired by a session that I had earlier today with um, a beautiful soul that I work with. And literally the discussion of our session was um, about how would she be able to find the man of her dreams so my take and my understanding is the man of your dreams is actually a reflection of you which is a great thing because it also gives you the power to be able to cultivate that so it's not about finding someone else that will give you whatever it is that you feel that you need to receive as a person or you want to experience from someone. It is more about how are you going to create that woman of your dreams inside yourself so then that can be your predominant vibration so then you can bring in someone who will be a reflection of this beautiful work that you are doing on yourself. Because the world is a mirror our relationships are a mirror, especially the ones of the romantic kind. They are a mirror to what we think and what we feel about ourselves. I always say this about uh, what Matthew Hussey says. We don't necessarily date, or he doesn't even say necessarily. He just says we don't date who we want. We date who we are. And I truly 1000% believe this to be true and have also experienced this myself and with people that I work with and through my schooling and every book that I've read. The way that we think and feel about ourselves, where our self-concept is, where our self-confidence lies, where your core beliefs are, this will always be reflected back to you in your romantic relationship. So we... So that way it becomes, instead of thinking about it as being like challenging or it's not working or why is it not working, it's amazing to look at it from the angle of, okay, this is how I'm thinking and feeling in my relationship. What do I need to change within myself? So if my person, my client is thinking, why have I not found the man of my dreams that is exactly where I would want to direct her is how to become the woman of her dreams herself. So then my next question would, would, would be and was, um, when, yes, yeah, so I said to her, like, the man of your dreams will exist when you become the woman of your dreams to yourself, right? So, so then I asked her, what is it that she is seeking more of? Because in her current relationship, she doesn't feel satisfied. She doesn't feel like this is the man of her dream. So then the next natural question would be, what is it that you are lacking, lacking, or still wanting to experience or have not experienced or have not found in your connection with this person? And um, she mentioned uh, connection and laughter. So instead of pointing the finger to your partner then and being, you need to make me laugh more, you need to connect with me more, what we need to do is connect with ourselves more. What we need to do, I shouldn't, I shouldn't even say need, what would be more worthwhile or more um, helpful or more towards the right direction in order for us to create that relationship of our dreams is to create that within ourselves first. So my then the question, then the power goes all back to her. So how can she connect with herself more? What does she need more of in this life? Right, so we create a plan on how she is to connect with self more, whether it is meditation or of uh, time with friends or alone time with herself in nature. Like, how are you going to connect with yourself? Perhaps you're going to read a book or you're going to journal your thoughts. And then, of course, um, the laughter part. If you're seeking for more connection than laughter, how can you make yourself laugh more? Can you just you know, um, go to a comedy show or, um, take yourself a little less seriously, like think about your self-talk, um, think, 
yes, how are you going to make yourself laugh more? How are you going to connect more with yourself? And the more we cultivate the things that we want to experience from the outside world, from within us, the more we create that vibration for us to be met by the environment around us. Because remember that the law of attraction works by us assertion it doesn't work by force so we just draw things in we bring things in like osmosis like everything else in life uh, like attracts like these are natural these are like simple natural laws of energy so knowing knowing this then you always hold the power in the relationship that you want to achieve now i'm not always saying that if you do your work that particular person that you are in a relationship with will will rise to meet you it can be 50 50. that particular person that you're in a relationship with may rise to meet you where you're at or they might naturally fall out of your life and someone else will come in that will match that which you have become within yourself so those are two possibilities um, I know there's a lot of people out there that teach manifesting a specific person. I'm not sure if I would want to do that because I feel I would never want to um, take away an opportunity for myself to meet someone that would be more of a reflection of the work that I've done rather than trying to manifest a specific timeline with a specific person. Because I do know, and based on experience that I have with myself and people that I work with, once you do the work and you raise your vibration and you give yourself that which you need, so say that you're not feeling respected in your relationship and you start to give yourself respect, maybe with your self-talk or maybe by changing your job or maybe you have to look within and see where you're not respecting yourself or maybe because you need to um, start to say no more because you're a yes person or um, you don't have clear boundaries or you're a people pleaser. There's so many ways that we disrespect ourselves day in and day out or we don't connect with ourselves. And then we seek these things from other people, but the power lies from giving it to ourselves first and then finding it from other people. So look to see what it is that you're missing, missing in your relationship, give it to yourself and then allow the universe to do its job. Either it's going to uh, have that person naturally like meet you there to reflect the newer version of you or it will bring in someone else. And I know that sometimes um, letting go of what is not serving or when that naturally just falls away, it will feel scary because that space that we are creating for the something else, um, that empty space feel is not known and it's um, uncomfortable just know that it's okay and just have trust and surrender in the universe that your work that you do on yourself will never not be rewarded ever this is one of the things that is for sure in this world because like attracts like so the more you help yourself the more the more opportunity you have to experience that which you are doing for you from the outside world. And I'm just gonna look at my notes to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Yeah. So again, like saying that she wants anything to experience with her partner is what we're actually seeking even within ourselves first. And then we go ahead and we give that to ourselves. And then we allow that person to match us in that same experience. Because for example, if you're disrespecting yourself in your mind by constantly criticizing you, putting yourself down, you know, calling you all sorts of names, how are we expecting someone else to do the complete opposite, right? Like they're going to meet us in that vibration, especially the relationships that are of uh, a dynamic nature and because they're static relationships. And then there's dynamic relationships that really propel us to our um, ultimate self growth. So yeah, just remember that the lacks in our relationship just show us where we are essentially leaking energy from within ourselves. We're giving our power away or we're not necessarily conscious because 95% of our, of our programming, right? I actually heard um, this amazing little piece of uh, video on YouTube today. And yes, it was a great reminder that after the age of 30, all these core beliefs that we create or we absorb 
or are created while we are children and then adolescence up until 24, they really become the hard drive of our internal like nervous system and our brain and the way that it fires signals and messages through our body day in and day out. And it's 95% unconscious and autonomic so it makes sense that sometimes we're just not even aware so that's why by paying attention how a person makes us feel of the romantic nature is a good way to see where your programming is running at subconsciously so don't look at it as a bad thing just look at it as a good thing a relationship will always be the conscious way of looking what is going on in your subconscious mind and what your hard drive is um, firing off day in and day out to your body um, automatically. I hope this video made sense. Remember, you are the person of your dreams and just work on you and allow that energy to match you. If you liked anything about this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, any topics you want me to talk about, I would love to do that for you and I will see you next time. Much love and gratitude always.